Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So in today's video guys, we're going to be going over a brand new event that's going to be coming either tomorrow or the very next Monday update that's going to be coming into the game with downtime occurring in order to implement these new features and also a set of rewards that we can earn through completing challenges within this event called the High Stakes Event which is actually something that's returning the first ever event I believe that's returning with the exact same cosmetics and also some more rewards like new rewards war cosmetics that we can earn. In today's video we're going to be going over how we know this is coming back to the game, what it ultimately is if you guys didn't play Fortnite Battle Royale in Season 5 with the first appearance of the High Stakes event and also everything that you will need to do in order to get these free rewards that are going to be coming to the game challenge wise and also what these rewards will be. So make sure you're sticking around till the end of the video to get all that information as it's honestly going to be something that you guys won't want to miss out on because there's some really cool rewards. As you can see in the thumbnail of today's video, a Crystal Llama back that we're going to be teaching you guys or showing you guys how to get in a very easy way. Very quickly before we get into any of that however I'd just like to quickly say that if you guys aren't already using my supporter creator code on your screen right now then make sure you're entering it in the item shop for all your purchase through V-Bucks or when buying anything in particular in Fortnite and make sure if you've already entered it and you've had it entered for two weeks that if it's reset you're re-entering it again. If you let me know on Twitter by tweeting me proof that you've done so whether it's entering or re-entering my code I'll retweet it, shout you out and obviously thank you you personally to show my appreciation for your support. Using my particular code can only help benefit you guys in the long run anyways because I take the funds that I earn from Support Creator and directly refund them into giveaways that I run every month on the channel. Speaking of giveaways, we're currently running right now a 50,000 V-Book giveaway, me and five other buddies teaming up and obviously chipping in 10,000 V-Books each so there's going to be five winners walking away, 10,000 V-Books richer by the end of March when we're announcing the winners but here's how you guys can have a chance to win one set of 10,000 V-Books. All you simply need to do to enter is leave a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload when I upload whatever I upload, follow my Twitter linked in the video description down below and upon doing that simply click the link at the very top of the description and follow additional steps on there for a higher chance and greater odds of winning one of five 10,000 V-Book bundles. Good luck to everybody who liked to enter and now let's get into talking about this new high stakes event or should I say high stakes event 2.0 coming back to Fortnite and everything we need to know about it, especially how you guys can get your hands on a free Crystal Llama back bling. So the very first thing to note about the high stakes event originally when it came to Battle Royale in Season 5 of Fortnite was the fact that it was themed largely around burglary and robberies and stuff like that and that ultimately being the basis of the mode, the getaway mode which was a squad based mode. You could only go into it in squads, it wasn't like a solo or duo mode. However, you could play it by yourself or with a squad, it did not matter. The sole purpose of this mode was to find the safe crates, literally like supply drops around the map that dropped and get it to one of three vans hovering in the sky the first person to do so would win and obviously have a getaway victory royale considering the fact that this theme was overall based around burglaries and robberies and stuff like that and everything that burglars ultimately want being precious jewels and diamonds the crystal llama was an object you picked up within the game and used as a back bling however it was the crystal of which you needed to deliver to the van simply opening a safe crate and going to a van would not entail you winning you would need to be carrying in this llama jewel on your back which also replenished your shield so it was definitely viable to pick up and obviously use however it took up a slot in your inventory. Again because of the fact the high stakes mode or high stakes event should I say the getaway mode was predominantly based around burglaries and actually carrying one out in order to win the cosmetics that we could earn in the high stakes or getaway challenges during this time reflected on just this we could get a crowbar harvesting tool for completing all of the three challenges within this particular set the first time this challenge set came around. We could also earn 5000 XP for literally just playing or participating in 10 games of the getaway being the mode, predominantly the basis of the high stakes event. The only other two cosmetics besides the crowbar were the spray with every form of card symbol such as the clubs, the aces, the diamonds and the spades and that was for dealing 500 damage to people carrying this crystal llama because that's the object of which we needed to deliver in order to win and we could also earn this contrail that was really cool looking spitting out cash from our arms for simply just picking up a jewel in five different games of the getaway obviously being the crystal llama. I know this may seem pretty scarce to events that we've recently seen in battle royale that give us challenges and and at the end of the challenge we get a cosmetic reward such as the 14 days of Fortnite event, the 2018 Fortnite Nightmares event. It seems really really scarce and honestly really kind of like not 
not challenging at all or the fact that it doesn't give us any incentive to play because there's only three things to do right here that get us the crowbar for completing all three challenges. There's not much play or replay factor should I say for actually you know doing things in this particular event and having to hop on every day like the incentive they push through in the 14 days of Fortnite with one more challenge and one more cosmetic being unlockable and doable each and every day. The only reason this event I feel was lacking so much was because they were you know dipping their toe in the water epic games in hosting events or having events be the predominant basis and theme of Fortnite for a specific amount of time and how well that would do. Considering everybody loved the high stakes event and wanted to see more like this replicated ultimately theming Fortnite around something different from the current season going on, they innovated into the two bigger events like I just mentioned being the 2018 Fortnite Mares event and also the 14 days of Fortnite event. So now that they've learned that we love hopping on every day to earn our free cosmetics exclusive to that day or the first time the challenge of which to unlock the cosmetic is available they're going to be adding more challenges as well as these old cosmetics in a challenge form to battle royale in this return of the high stakes or getaway mode or event with all that said though how do we know that the high stakes event is ultimately going to be making a return well there's multiple reasons for this basically confirming that it's going to be returning either tomorrow in the downtime update for the week three challenges going live or whether it be the monday update that we usually see or tuesday update should i say every single week either way we know it's going to be coming soon simply because of the fact fortnite like teasing things subtly on their twitter through emoticons like they did with the school trooper return and they had a school symbol in the fortnite mares event around october and then it returned they had this same thing or trait with the emojis teasing or hinting something coming in the very near future of the diamond emojis and also the card symbol emojis being you know the hearts the diamonds the clubs and also the spades just to add to that they had a money bag on the end to basically solidify the fact that it was based around burglaries and a getaway or there was going to be high stakes involved being this high stakes event coming back to Fortnite. the other leaked or more confirming source basically you know pointing at the fact that this event will be returning the high stakes event and the challenges contained within it are the leaked challenges and also the rewards that we will earn for completing said challenge. Here they are on your screen right now and as you can see they've differentiated how we'll obtain the previous cosmetics with you know the crowbar not being obtainable for completing all the challenges within the set and then that rewarding us with the final reward being the crowbar like they initially did. It's just for completing two games of the getaway or two challenges within this you know challenge set and then we also have some other challenges not just three in total. We have three different variants of the Crystal Llama back bling which is honestly a really cool back bling. Everybody's been wanting this in the game ever since we could put it on our back in the first time the high stakes or getaway mode was actually implemented into the game because it fits so well and it ultimately makes sense. Something you put on your back, I mean why not make it into a back bling? It'd be literally so easy it's already in the coding and the game's files so they can literally just drag and drop from one folder into the cosmetic section folder. We also have a loading screen for using a grappler in different matches of the getaway five games of which you need to use a grappler individually in and then they've reduced the amount of damage we need to deal to opponents carrying a jewel in order to get the spray and obviously I mean the same principle kind of for the contrail but only three games we need to pick up a jewel in instead of five. These are confirmed to be coming back to the game in the very near future because they were data mined and obviously leaked by a reliable source Hypex who I'll link in the video description down below to his Twitter so you can view this for yourself for your own peace of mind and we also know that it's going to be coming in the very near future because it was most recently leaked literally as of yesterday in the downtime Tuesday update for March 12th and typically things that get leaked in the game's files either come in the following week or the next following following downtime update that occurs for the game. Sometimes, like with the launch of weekly challenges, we don't need a downtime update because, I mean, this has already been implemented into the game once, so they'll have obviously, like, memory in the files of this occurring, and maybe because of this they won't need an actual physical update, it'll just be literally implemented through a kind of silent update into the game, like the weekly challenges are every week. Either way, there are all the challenges and everything I wanted to talk about with you guys in today's video, the Llama Crystal Backbling, all three variants, the green, the red and the white version for completing a total of five matches of the getaway and obviously obtaining in those five games a victory royale. So basically winning five games of the getaway. If you enjoyed today's video or learnt something or found it helpful make sure you're leaving a like on today's video and to further support me make sure you're using my creator code on your screen right now for all item shop purchases and before you click off today's video one last thing if you like the content you've seen and want to see more then make sure you're subscribing to the channel. 
thank you all so much for the support as of recently. It's been tremendous, and I'm out. Hopefully I can catch you guys in the next one, and peace.